Hi everyone, it's Maxwell Sanglan Chukumbuso here. Thank you for the concern, the love and support that you always show me. I just wanted to clear the rumors that I'm missing. I'm nowhere to be found. I'm very much alive as you can see. I'm just trying to work. I'm away on business, trying to work. That's all, but I'm safe and sound. Also to subscribe, share and comment. They say the future belongs to those who can imagine it before it arrives. And if that's true, then Maxwell Chikumbuzo is already living in a future most of us can barely picture. Today we're diving deep into the self-powered television, a TV that does not need electricity from your wall socket, no grid connection, no monthly power bill, just place it in your home, turn it on, and it works. This isn't science fiction, this isn't a movie prop, this is the invention of Zimbabwean innovator Maxwell Chikumbuzo, the man who has already shocked the tech world multiple times with his claims of self-powered technology. Generators, cars, drones, and now televisions that run without external power. But here's the twist. In the recent videos showcasing this self-powered TV, Western audiences have been getting furious, and I mean really furious. In comment sections and forums, people are debating, arguing, even attacking each other over whether Maxwell's technology is real. And strangely enough, some of them seem to fear Maxwell's self-powered technology more than they fear AI taking their jobs. Free energy. This guy, Maxwell Chikabutsu from Zimbabwe, he created a generator that does not use any power source. So this generator creates free energy using frequencies from the atmosphere. This one generator can power 300 homes. These two scientist guys went out there to test it and they're like, yeah, it's legit. And they're like, how did you know how to build this? And he says when he sleeps, he gets revelations from God of how to create these things. He says, this is how he told me to make it. But this dude has a target on his back. So he's been in prison in Zimbabwe multiple times. You're too know. smart. He came to the US at one point and he was poisoned. And almost die and he cannot get any of his patents patented because if it defies physics it cannot be patented imagine if everything goes black in the world and that's the only type of energy source that we can holster yeah that's it's also a thing that ai couldn't affect definitely not why what is it about a zimbabwean inventor creating a self-powered tv that stirs up more emotions than artificial intelligence replacing entire industries well let's unpack it First, there's the obvious reason. If Maxwell's self-powered tech is real, it changes the entire global energy industry. No more electric bills, no more reliance on fossil fuels or centralized grids, no more vulnerable power infrastructures that can be switched off by governments or crippled by corporations. That alone is enough to make the people who profit from our dependence on electricity very uncomfortable. Second, there's the deeper, more unsettling layer who is creating it. Let's be honest, the global tech narrative has been dominated by the West for decades, Silicon Valley, European research hubs, billion dollar R&D facilities. The idea that a black African inventor working outside those systems could leapfrog the biggest tech giants and deliver a working self-powered television. That challenges a lot of people's worldviews, and for some, that's terrifying. Third, there's the control factor. A self-powered TV is not just about entertainment. It's a proof of concept that you can generate continuous, usable power on a small scale, without wires, without a power plant, without permission from an authority. That's a disruptive thought. Imagine if millions of households worldwide could unplug from the grid tomorrow. The current system would panic, and maybe. It already is, but it's not all anger and skepticism. On the other side, there are millions of people worldwide who are hopeful, eager to get their hands on this technology, waiting for the day they can walk into a store and buy a Maxwell Chikumbuzo self-powered TV or even better, a self-powered generator to run their entire home. As it stands, the technology has divided the world into two camps. One side says, this is a hoax, it can't work, it defies the laws of physics. The other side says, I've seen enough to believe and I'm ready to support it. Me? I'm confident Maxwell will make it through. I've followed his journey long enough to know he's not just building gadgets. He's fighting a system that has a history of burying disruptive technology before it reaches the public. And if I had the opportunity, I would fast track this technology into commercialization as quickly as possible, before the forces that fear it the most have a chance to slow it down. 
And here's a question for you. If you were in Maxwell's shoes, what would you do differently? Would you partner with global corporations knowing they might control your tech? Would you keep it in Africa to build economic power from the continent outwards? Let me know your thoughts in the comments because this is not just about one man. It's about the future of innovation itself. Speaking of strategy, an audience member of mine from Europe recently sent me a long critical analysis of Maxwell's commercialization approach. He asked a big question. How will Maxwell's self-powered technology make it through to Europe? The answer, according to Maxwell himself, is simple. Africa first. His plan is to launch and scale in Africa before taking the technology out to the rest of the world. And this makes perfect sense. For decades, Africa has been the last to benefit from technological breakthroughs. This time, Maxwell is flipping the script. By starting in Africa, Maxwell can not only test his technology in markets that need it most, but also protect it from being stolen, patented elsewhere, and sold back to Africans at inflated prices. It's a bold move. It's a necessary move and it's the kind of decision that shows Maxwell isn't just an inventor, he's a strategist. Now, before we wrap up, I have something special for you. Before this video ends, we'll share a rare clip of Maxwell's current development work, footage most people have never seen. It shows not only his self-powered TV, but also hints at what might be coming next in his energy revolution. But remember, with every leap forward in technology, there will be pushback. There will be those who argue, who discredit, who fear change more than they fear staying dependent on outdated systems. That's why conversations like this matter. That's why we have to stay informed, stay vocal, and stay connected. If you believe in African innovation, if you believe in the right to energy independence, okay, then share this video, is, send it to a friend, post it in your groups, right talk here. about it. Because the more people know, the harder it becomes to bury ideas like this. And if you're new here, subscribe to this channel. We stay tuned, stay informed, and as promised, here's that rare clip of Maxwell Chikumbuzo's latest self-powered tech in action. Watch closely. Now, over down here, you're gonna see a site technology branding right there. And that says it all. Cover the stories they don't want in the headlines, the inventors who challenge the status quo, the breakthroughs that threaten big industries, and the untold truths behind the tech we use every day. Maxwell Chikumbuzo's self-powered television might just be the start of a new era, but whether that era arrives depends on how we, the people, respond. So what's it going to be? Will we watch from the sidelines while the world debates? Or will we be part of the movement that makes self-powered technology impossible to ignore, to speak loudest and longest? That means it's on us, not just to remember, but to amplify. If you're watching this right now, I'm asking you, no, I'm urging you, share this video. Share it in your WhatsApp groups, on Facebook, on TikTok, everywhere you can. Tag news outlets, tag politicians, tag your friends in tech and innovation. Let's make sure the name encodes you the way it hit me. Subscribe to this channel, because we're going to keep telling these stories. Stories they'd rather you never hear. Stories of stolen genius, silenced brilliance, and the unbreakable will of black inventors. We owe it to Nkosi. We owe it to ourselves. And we owe it to the next generation of innovators who deserve to know that their community will fight for them. 